here with Gypsy Fae Creations. Thanks for tuning in. So I have promised a Lucky Charms soap and I am here to deliver that. Starting off with my oils, I'm going to add my sodium lactate lye distilled water and a little bit of titanium dioxide to this mixture. And then I'm gonna give this a whirl and I'm gonna explain where this idea came from. Okay, so in my crystal ball soap that I did moon embeds on top, those little moon embeds reminded me of the little crescent moon blue marshmallows from Lucky Charms. And so I thought, hey, that would be a really cool soap. So then I started doing some research for a fragrance oil that would smell like um, Lucky Charms. And I was having a lot of trouble with that. So I ended up buying some Fruit Loops fragrance thinking I could use that. And then I used it to make a Fruit Loops soap. And then I was like, all right, I'll make the Lucky Charms with it. But I've had a few people like challenge me and a few ideas and suggestions. So I was like, fine, I'll see what I can do. And I did a little more research. The problem I was having is marshmallow you tends to have vanillin in it. And I did not want a high vanilla content in a fragrance because I just didn't want a brown soap. But I did find a fragrance for Marshmallow by P&J Trading Company. I have used them way, way, way long time ago when I was doing bath bombs. According to the website, there is zero, zero <laughs> percent vanillin in it so I'm really hoping that is the case I did mix it up with a little bit of the Fruit Loops just to give it a little bit of that cereal and fruity smell to it and I am adding in just a tiny little bit of this really red mica by Nurture this is to be the red balloon part of the soap or the marshmallow. Um, I've got some blue here from that Stardust Micas and then some like yellow vibrance from Nurture in here. It's supposed to be a little bit of gold in there as well, the Maya gold for the uh, pots of gold. And then over here is some blue for the blue moons. I'm gonna give each one of these a mix, starting with this color. And then we'll pour into layers because I have these embeds I made here um, for each layer of the soap is going to be a different color and then on top I've got these different embeds some horseshoes some shooting stars and some clovers so hopefully when it all comes together it'll just be a very lucky charm looking soap Let's get some of this piping on here, see if it's ready. I just took some white soap base. Nope, we're not ready. All right, let's see if I can get some of this piping on here before my camera decides to conk out on me. Um, I took some of that leftover batter that I did with the layers and I just mixed it in with a white base for this icing. And I'm just going to little ploops on here, kind of like clouds. I don't know how much I like that red in there. <laughs> Maybe that yellow will show through once it um, it's saponifies. It'll look a little better. Right. So Bradley and I went to a musical the other day, and I've never thought I'd be the person who appreciated a play, more or less a musical. But we've been to a couple of them now. I've seen some really good ones like um, the Hippodrome downtown in Baltimore and they've had like you know the Broadway musicals with the playbills and that was really nice but we've recently been going to a place called Toby's Dinner Theater and it's about a 45 minute drive. In this case it was snowing and there was a lot of traffic and it was about an hour drive but 
this is our third time going. We went and saw um, Beauty and the Beast. We took his parents to go see that. We've seen Young Frankenstein. And this was the last hurrah with my job. We usually do a Christmas party after Christmas. So we did Toby's Dinner Theater again. And it was kind of bittersweet. I'll refill my ice and bag here. So yeah, it was a nice little farewell. It was the last Galleria Dental Christmas party we would have had and my last day of work. So it was nice that we got to do that together. Um, the play was called Gypsy and it is about a mom named Rose who was obsessed with showbiz and since she couldn't make it as a child um, Broadway superstar, she pretty much raised her children to be um, Broadway superstars, <laughs> or at least in her mind that was what she wanted. And so she had her youngest daughter, and this is based on like a real person, these are real people in this. Um, she had her youngest daughter be like the show stopper and they traveled around and they were always told that they were younger than they were. <laughs> until the youngest daughter decided she was done and she went to go elope. And then she was left with the older daughter who didn't really have any talents and wasn't as good as the sister, but the mom really pushed her and she ended up in a burlesque um, show. <laughs> and so she just became this burlesque dancer and actor and she went by the name of Gypsy, Gypsy? Rose Lee was what and she became rich and she became what she, her mom wanted and in the end like her mom is mad <laughs> that you know that's what she wanted for herself so it was it was an interesting show it had lots of laughs to it um, and of course it was a musical and it was based on a true person and we left with a cup <laughs> because every time you go to um, Toby's dinner theater can get a souvenir cup and we have like a whole collection of them now it's crazy <laughs> might be the last time we go because honestly I'm not a huge fan of the food I think the place needs to update a little bit it looks like it's stuck in the 70s it could use some remodeling but I go for the show honestly the talent and just the acting is phenomenal and of course the cups that I have to collect <laughs> and the actors even wait on the tables oh look a sneak peek of another soap that you're not supposed to see <laughs> so that right there is dedication that not only are you a full-time actor but you wait the tables in between so that's pretty amazing um, yeah I want to go see more plays that's, that is the plan all right, where do I want to stick these guys? I think I want to stick them in front of the marshmallow. The marshmallow, they're all supposed to be marshmallows. Oh, the shooting star marshmallow. You guys probably can't see that. I'm sorry. So I, I've tried to incorporate all of the marshmallow shapes into this somehow, whether it's the color, the embeds, the rainbow part is supposed to be just like the different layers of colors of soap. So hopefully, crossing my fingers, I got lucky on those layers because that soap, the, the batter really didn't want to set up for me. I think the icing set up before the batter did, so it was really hard to do a layered soap when I couldn't get the soap to set. All right, let's just put a little bit of snowflake sparkle on here. I'm gonna give it a little spray with a rubbing alcohol. And then we'll let it sit and I'll come back in 24 hours or so and we'll cut it and see if those layers on the inside are one straight and two if those shapes didn't like go all over the place. Ta-da! The Lucky Charm soap. <laughs> Let's cut a couple of these and see how it turned out. Cuts like butter. Put those embeds in there. Oh, my little star has a little, little air pocket in it. 
It's okay, I'm probably gonna fill it in, but you get the point. The layers aren't too bad. And it looks like all of those embeds stayed in their lanes. There we go. That's better. It smells really good. So here's my Lucky Charm soap, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I should do any more cereal inspired soaps because those fragrances, I'm just, if I can't get them right, I'm not happy. Let's get an up close look of this because I am digging that frosting now. I didn't think I was going to, but you can see the yellow in there and some of the red. I appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You know the spiel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. That's the right word that I want. Any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys have a very nice day. If you are interested in purchasing the soap, it will be available on March 1st. Again, have a very nice day and I'll smell you later.